Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina for those of you that are new here and we are starting a new chapter on the Karina Style Diaries YouTube channel and I'm so excited to be partnering with a company right now that is going to be editing the videos for me. So yay for that because you guys know I struggle so much with that and to start this little new sh new chapter, I am doing a video that it has been highly requested from you guys via Instagram DMs. I recently took a little um, getaway trip with my girls, uh, Bella and Sophia, and I posted a ton of photos on bathing suits and styling like jewelry over it, and you guys just went nuts. And this has been like super requested throughout the, the videos and even like things that I've posted here in the past. You guys are always asking, so I am hoping to put everything that I have in this one video so you guys can like refer back all the time. So what you will find here is my favorite pieces. I, I will show you an overview of everything that I have, but I'm just going to focus on the main ones that I wear every day. And then um, a little tip of how I layer my necklaces usually, what I do to like layer rings and even the earrings. You guys tend to really like the, you know, the earring game here. And uh, mixed metals. I'm going to throw in a couple of silver pieces here and I'll talk about it. And uh, how I keep them from tarnishing or actually tips on how to keep them from tarnishing and I'll show you a little bit of my storage places and how I store usually my jewelry. So I hope that you guys are excited about it and let's do this. with the necklaces because these are the ones that you guys have most of your questions over and how I layer the necklaces. I usually tend to rotate between maybe like five or six of them. I just go through phases where I like one more than another and so I switch things off from time to time. Um, right now, so one rule of thumb that I usually like is just the sizing. So I usually get like a 12 inch, a 14 inch and a 16 inch or like 14, 16, 18. You can try to do that. Like right now, what I have going on, there are two of the 14 inch ones. So they kind of like overlap a little bit. And if that happens, I usually try to have a little, um, a little charm in here. So this one is the K, you know, it has a little bit of the, the gold or the diamond. And uh, that would just kind of like make sure that it will be seen as well. So, and then I love the coin and necklaces. So for instance, here are some of my favorite coins that I have, you know, and that I've like was able to collect throughout the years. So this one is a, and you guys, I will try to tell you which one, where they're from, and it will all be on the description boxes, the main ones. But this one is a, gigantic coin this is an 18 inch one this is a james michelle it says grateful in here you can engrave anything that you like and i love 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 this necklace so sometimes i tend to not wear some of these um necklaces that are not linkable just because you guys ask so much so much where are they from where are they from and i i like to have them all like on my like to know it and just send you the links and then you guys can shop on your own rather than having to every time find the the links on the stores so that's the main reason why uh, sometimes I avoid wearing them so much on Instagram um, and then there's this lion one in here this is a gorgeous gorgeous piece and it has a, a bit of a thicker chain so the chain and the charm is sold separately this is a Miranda Fry um, necklace and Miranda Fry is my my main partner for jewelry it's my go-to place I find so many items in there um, for instance my rings are all Miranda Fry usually on this hand here so they're all costume jewelry and uh, I overlap them together a little bit I guess we're gonna be showing a little bit of everything because since I can not keep it straight but uh, this is another one Miranda Fry that I wear quite a lot I, I tend to layer it together so it's a little bit different than this guy but it's part of like the same collection you can layer with this one too and Miranda Fry does have a discount code for you guys so using code Karina will get you 10% off your purchase and I believe it gets free US shipping after $50 if I'm not mistaken but don't quote me on the shipping I know for sure it gets you 10% off um, 
their store so usually i really like their necklaces a lot this thin little, little necklace in here is also miranda fry and then the charm is miranda fry and this other guy in here is a electric pix and this one miranda fry also has one that is just like it this style has been reproduced by so many brands and so you can find it in different places electric picks does give you a 20 percent uh, cold right now this is brand new and i'm so excited to share with you guys with code karina 20 you get 20 percent off your order with electric picks so i'm also going to be leaving the codes down here and this is the stargazer this is the story of this coin is actually a brazilian coin and it's it's one that when i was little it was like available in brazil they changed their money now so it's no longer um worth anything but it just brings me back memories that's why i chose this little stack to to travel with so when it comes to mixing metals this was another piece that was so popular over the whole like 2020 last summer i wore it so much as the london necklace this is a Miranda Fry as well, and it has a the spheres in here. They have like different shapes, and so it catches the light in different ways. It is so pretty, you guys. And I will tell you, I never took care of this necklace. I showered with it. I went to the pool with it. I went to the ocean with it. I was just like never really careful, and it still looks so so good. I'm gonna try to put it on so you guys can kind of see it reflecting. But I should have some photos that um wearing this because i wore it so much last year it was like i believe it was my best seller um for miranda fry and they had to restock it so much throughout the the year and you guys another thing too is like this is and i got questions so much about it whether it was gold because it did look gold on some of the pictures but it's not it's silver but i feel like it, it works it's just like when you mix a little bit of the metal like like the rings in here it just adds a little bit of interest and this miranda the fry here it's like a cuff ring you guys this guy here is not um available anymore so we call it like a vintage one because this is i think it's from 2014 and i still love it i wash my hands with it i do everything i just took it out take it out to sleep and sometimes to shower but it's like really really beautiful looks like new same for this guy here this is a few months old and i wash my hands with it do everything with it i don't really have any rule of thumb for like how many necklaces i wear at a time it really just depends on what i'm wearing for instance if i'm wearing something like that's low cut i will pile them up and just like make a statement um sometimes i don't sometimes i just like something really dainty and really small so that's also okay there's really no not a like a rule that i follow i just put them together and see if i like it one thing i'll tell you is like if you feel like it's too much it's it is too much so take something out if you're about to get out of the door and you're like mm, this is a little much then take something out another rule is like i probably wouldn't wear this little linked chain link um earrings if i had more than this three necklaces at a time because then i think it's a little too many things and you don't quite know where to look at so this is another great tip to keep in mind when you're styling your jewelry then here i wanted to show you guys so this is where i basically store the necklaces um i have this little thing here i used to be one of those um Stella and dot stylists like back in the day like 10 years ago and uh i had a few of these and i kept them because they just helped me to keep the necklaces from um you know tangling and separating and it just keeps it like Vis you know visible so i can see what i have as far as most of my jewelry is all costume jewelry you guys this thicker piece here is an express jewelry and i love this over the holidays i wore it a ton this guy here i have the cross that was an alex and annie and i wore this for so 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 many years it was one of my most asked questions too and then they stopped being a part of reward style i found them on etsy but then i was just having a, a, too much of a hard time finding similars that i trusted the quality to share with you guys so that was a little bummer another piece that i love and i wore so much too and this is more of a choker i love wearing chokers you guys is this um james michelle so this is a little choker with little beads of gold and it has a little piece of crystal 
right here. And this one was one of my most worn necklaces last year as well. Wore it so much, slept on it, sweated on it, went to the gym with it, and it still looks pretty. So this is it for the necklaces. I hope it was helpful. One thing too that I, before I forget how I keep them from tarnishing, I honestly don't do anything on mine. Luckily, all of my jewelry has been holding up so well. Um, if you guys do want to keep them forever and you, you probably can for most of these pieces, they're made like really, really nicely, really nice quality. Um, one little rule that I learned when I was working with uh, Cell and Dot is that jewelry should be the last piece to go in and the first one to come off. So when you're leaving the house, it should be the last thing that you put on, you know, like like after you spray perfume and things like this or lotions. So the very last thing before you leave the house and it needs to come off the first thing when you come back in the house. And so that way it will keep, it will, you will last a lot longer if you keep that in mind. So no lotions, no sweat, no chlorine, no like, you know, salt water. If you keep them like this and then if you polish them from time to time, that is just the optimal way to be able to keep your jewelry longer. I don't do anything. They do, some of them do tarnish with time, but I'll tell you guys, it's like it takes a long time for them to actually go bad to the point that I don't even wanna, wanna wear it anymore. And sometimes I like the look of a little bit of tarnish because I feel like it looks a little bit vintagey. Uh, it really doesn't bother me, especially when I'm wearing with the same layers. So if I put maybe like a brand new piece with it, it might show a little bit that the other one is older or it's been a little worn out. But um, other than that, it's just perfectly fine. So I don't do much, but if you guys do want to, that's a good rule of thumb to follow. Okay, and then for the rings, on the other hand, I actually have this little, th these are like my actual real jewelry on this right hand. And that's just like my wedding rings. I just keep both and then I have this uh, little triangle with a diamond in here and this is from an Indian brand that I partnered with um, the first New York Fashion Week that I went to and they gave me this as, as payment <laughs> for posts and I love it and then I wear it on my, on my right hand because it's just one of those really really nice pieces to, to have and this is like an infinity ring and the idea it's like a gold rose gold yellow gold and white gold it's um i want to say a cartier knockoff um but it's just it's real gold it's just not cartier <laughs> and this one is another one that i keep with me and i never take it off i do take this one off because it bugs me if i sleep on it um but the other th these guys here never come off and those are being gold that you don't ever have to worry about them tarnishing or anything like that in talking about gold, I wanted to mention now, let's move on to my earrings because um, this is another one that I get so many questions on and some of them I never take it off because they are, I try to get real gold on the tiny little um, piercings that I won't mess with. I do not change the second holes or the second and third ones often at all like very very rarely i will i will change just my main one so right now i have the links and this is what i wore on uh my trip i think it was the last post um from miami i had these on actually not the last but one of the last ones and i really really like them these are electric picks and uh i just think that they're so fun cynthia miglio so this girl is a brazilian girl she is um, based in Toronto and she makes amazing, beautiful jewelry inspired by Brazil. So I forgot the name of this guy here. I will have it linked or labeled for you guys in the, in the description box. But it has the little pearl in the middle and it's just such a delicate piece, you guys. So this is another one that I will definitely layer with a little bit of less in here. But it is so dainty and delicate that even if you have a super big statement, um, necklace it would probably be okay so this is the one that I was wearing the most on I do have a couple of other pieces from her but I wanted to show you so here on my this little piercing here this little ring it's a pyramid one 
And then I have a little hoop that goes between two holes and it has a little diamond here and so you clasp it together. And then the last one that's right here close to my face is a little triangle with a tiny bit of uh, diamond in it. And then I have the little cuff. So the little cuff is easy to remove. I do not keep that all the time, but the cuff is also gold. Uh, so all of these pieces here are real gold and they these two never come off. The little hoop and this guy here never come off. This one hasn't come off since I put it on. So it's probably one that's gonna stay. And so this comes off and this comes off. Same for this, this one's I changed a little more. So I only have this two extra holes in here. I, I, did, I got this done locally at the Petite Jewelers, um, the, the piercing, and they have the brand, it's like made of like, they make tiny little earrings and it's so cute because you can definitely like stack your entire ear with them. Um, and this is one of those like piercing pagodas or whatever and this is like real gold as well tiniest little hoop it came in two so I initially put them two together but it looked too much of the same so I wanted a little more interest added this instead and then I keep this guy a little more interesting if I feel like it um, there is a couple of other pieces that when I wear, you guys totally love it. And these are the hoops from Miranda Fry. So I have the ones that have the diamonds and they're pretty small. And I have the male huggies with the charms. So they are also interchangeable. You can put the, you can pick your huggies or your little hoops and then you can pick different charms to go along with them. When I was wearing these all the time, you guys were loving it, so. And last but not least, it's just my little bracelet stack. Right now, it's being very, very bare, very minimal. There's like four of them. Um, and then like three of them are Miranda Fry. So the, the little diamond ones and the very delicate one with the crystals, um, as well as this like thicker gold one. And then the coin one is um, James Michelle, and you can also customize up to three words in it. Mine says God, Yoga, and Sunshine. Um, you can just have it customized to your liking. So I really like this one. It doesn't stay up too much. It's like it tends to roll down the coin, which is a little bit annoying, but I love the way that they look together. And when I do have um, a bigger stack, it will either be a couple of these different ones, which by the way, this is how I keep my bracelets usually. I got this little guys here at West, West Elm and they have, it's three of them that come. So I usually have them stacked like this. It just looks so cute for as, as a, a little decoration piece as well. So one of them, I keep my little charms. There's the little letter in here as well. This is also around the fry. And then the other one, I tend to keep my bracelets. So this was a pretty popular during the summertime. It just looks like a watch, you know, one of those vintage watch uh, bracelets. And this one was part of a new collection as well. And these are a little older around the fry that I really, really like as well. And every now and then I wear them but yeah I tend to just place them them in here I also have a little dish you guys that I I can't remember where I picked this up it might have been my sound too but in this little dish it's where I keep my tiny little hoops or rings like so at night when I'm ready to take them off I just toss them in the in here and here it stays. I usually keep a little piece of like the backing just in case if I lose some or if it comes with extras, it's nice and handy. And I keep safety pins in here as well. So this is another piece that I have to store some of the rings and the earrings that I wear less often. So these are fun, like when I'm traveling, I like to have a little more a um, little like bigger, but they are still very thin and very dainty. Um, pick this up, I think it's at Nordstrom. I'll try to link my main ones in here for you guys. This is another piece from Cynthia Miglio and you can see the pearl and this little wire here, this little gold is um, 
pretty much her signature. I have that in the darker pearl as well. Super beautiful. Um, and then some of the rings, like this is a Madewell, this is Express. I have this little ring here that everybody asks. It's a Goriana um, Trio, and so here are the two other ones that I just keep it in here. I got this one at Etsy. So this is a little Etsy one with the initial. This is Miranda Fry. This guy here is a Zales gold and emerald earring. I like to layer this guy here sometimes too. Um, these are also Zales. So these are real gold and little diamonds here. This is a Mel Hug, or I don't know the name of it, but it's Miranda Fry Huggy. I was gonna say Mel Huggy, but I don't think that's it. As far as like real jewelry pieces in here, all I have is like two of them that are like, you know, a little more expensive. It's the emerald one, emerald gold, and this little star one here is also um, real jewelry. And I, I guess the little cross is too. Or maybe not because it, it does it did age a little bit guys I also love to have these marble trays here these are a duel that I picked up at West Elm and I feel like they look so pretty styled with the jewelry it's almost like a decoration piece as well um, this is from a Chinese designer I will try to find her name here these are actual real rose petals and so she just kind of puts a glass coat on like around them and it just makes such a beautiful statement and these are also from the same designer I'll try to find for you guys uh, the right links these are like Miranda Fry as well this is I cannot remember it was from like a local boutique in town but this is a gorgeous gorgeous necklace I can try to put it on for you guys and yes that's like some of my little storage pieces right here. One more little necklace that I typically wear when I'm at the beach and I didn't this time around is this little ch uh, shell necklace. I love this is a little choker in here and sometimes layered, sometimes with nothing else, just like a super simple one. Um, I picked this up in Brazil a couple, of, a couple of years ago, but they are available everywhere. So I usually link them from Etsy shops. They come or not, they don't come with, but you can also purchase the anklets and the cute little like bracelets that are matching. Right now they're making the shells in like gold with encrusted with like little diamonds. So it's really, really pretty and you can elevate the look to, to make it like with a metal instead of just a shell. I love to have um, organic materials mixed in with metals. So that's another thing to get another idea or tip to keep things a little more interesting when you are styling your jewelry pieces. And guys, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to leave me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I hope it was through enough and you were able to um, see some, you know, to learn something and to find some tips and ideas that you like and carry on to style your own pieces of jewelry. I'm dying to know which piece you loved best here or what's your favorite stacks. Share with us down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Um beijo. Tchau, tchau.